Okay, how to convert from base R to decimal. In this example, we have a base 2 number. We want to convert it into a base 10 number, a decimal number. This here is the value for this number. This is the value for this number. We add the values for the numbers or the digits in the number, okay? And we get the final result. Okay, in this example, we are required to convert from base 5 into decimal. Again, this number has a value, which is 3 multiplied by the weight, which is 5 squared. This number value is 4 by 5, which is 20. This number value is 1 multiplied by the weight, which is 5 to the power 0 and then we add the value of 2 and the value of 4 and we get the final result. Converting from decimal to binary. We have two algorithms to do this. In algorithm 1, we break the number into two parts. The whole part, the whole number, and the fractional part. For the whole part, we do repeated division by 2 we are we are converting into binary so we do repeated division by 2 for the whole part for the fractional part we do repeated multiplication by 2 as a matter of fact converting decimal to r we follow the same thing we convert by breaking the number into two parts a whole number and fractional part for the whole part, we divide by the new R. And for the fractional part, we multiply by the new R. Okay, for the whole part, we said a repeated division by the new base, which is in this case 2. We want to convert this number, which is decimal, into binary. Okay, first of all, we divide the number by the new base, and then we have a result which is 21 and the remainder is 1. The remainder 1 goes here. Okay, then what do we do? We divide 21 by 2 and then we have the result 10 and the remainder is 1. This one goes here. We divide 10 by 2, which is 5, and the remainder is 0. This 0 goes here. Then we divide 5 by 2, which is 2, and the remainder is 1, and this 1 goes here. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and the remainder is 0 which is here, 1 is divided by 2 is 0, and the remainder is here. So this is the least significant bit of the new number, and this is the most significant bit of the new number. Okay, to convert decimal fractions to binary, we used a repeated multiplication by 2. Suppose we want to convert this number from decimal to binary. Okay, we multiply the number, sorry, we multiply the number by 2, and then we have an answer. And this here, 0, is the carry. This carry goes to the most significant bit after the binary point here and then we take this number 625 and then we multiply it by 2 we get this answer this here we call it the carry this we take this carry into this position and then we multiply this by 2, 
we get this answer with the carry zero. This zero goes into this position. And then we multiply the 0.5 by 2 again. We get this answer. And this here is the carry which goes to this position. So this final carry here is the least significant bit in the binary number where this one here is the most significant bit in the final binary number. Okay, algorithm 2 we use the sum of weights, the sum of weights method. Okay, let's take an example. Here we want to convert this number uh, which is decimal into binary. 9 is equal to 8 plus 1. Why did we choose 8 plus 1? Why not 7 plus 2? Because 8 is a power of 2. And 1 is a power of 2. Okay. Actually, 8 is 2 to the 3. So, in the third position in the binary number, there is a 1. Which is this one. And the 1 is 2 to the power 0. So in the first position here, which has a power of 0, there is a 1. Okay, so this is 8, and this is 1 in base 2. Okay, another example, 18 in base 10 is equal to 16 plus 2. 16 is 2 to the power 4 and 2 is 2 to the power 1. So in position 1, where the weight is 1, we put a 1. And where the weight is 4, we also put a 1. Okay? So, and the rest are 0. This is the weight 0. Position 0. And this is position 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, in this example, this is a fractional part. Okay, this number is equal to 0 0.5 plus 0.125. The 0 0.5 is 2 to the power minus 1. So, where the weight is minus 1, there is a 1, and 0.25 is equal to this, so in this position there is a 1. This is minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3. This is the new number. Now, converging between bases, if you want to convert, for example, from base 4 to base 3, Okay, the easiest way is to go through the decimal number. You convert first to decimal, and then you convert to base 3. There are some shortcuts for some systems for the binary system and base 4 system and base 8 system and base 16 system.